Well, hopefully, hopefully this is working. Um, I'm streaming on OBS <laughs> for the first time, and I'm like, hmm, is this working? <laughs> I wanted to test it out um, for future stream purposes. Uh, but yeah, I need to I need to check that it's actually working. <laughs> are we live? Okay, it seems that we are live, so that is good. Hello. Mr. Yomi. <laughs> yeah, and Martino. I, I redid their sketches um, a bit. Like, I fully redid Martina's. Um, but Yomi still has the same head <laughs> as before. Ah, uh, but my god, I need to like rush. I need to finish these. I need to finish so that I can open my shop up for pre orders. Ah, but yeah, Martina with the hair flip. <laughs> I guess since uh, Mota's here, we'll try to keep it um, spoiler free again. Oh, wait, why do I have it tagged as Dunger and Rompa? It should be tagged as Raincoat. Give me a sec. <laughs> Let me, uh, change that. Rain code. There we go. Anyway. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, first time streaming with OBS rather than Streamlabs. So, I don't know if it's gonna be better or worse. But since we're just doing a drawing stream today, it doesn't really matter too much, I think. I think. I can't believe it, my mom just called me again. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. You know, I think I could have waited like five minutes before starting and then I could have taken my coal uh, off stream, but no, <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta go check if we got milk in the fridge. Okay, give me like a minute, okay? <laughs> I can't believe my mom called. Okay. My mom has to call anytime. <laughs> I was like to my mom, I was like, Mom, every time, every time I start streaming or I'm in the middle of a stream, you call me. <laughs> it's like you you didn't you didn't call me this whole time and then I started streaming, you called. Well <laughs> that's how it goes. Anyway, uh, hey everybody. I can't see my chat on the OBS. So I don't know how to make that happen. So I'll just keep my YouTube thing open. <laughs> Very important business? Yeah, I need, I need to check if we have milk. <laughs> if we have milk at home. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be the dad. <laughs> I'll be the dad who goes for milk. Right? <laughs> That's the joke, right? Uh, anyway. Um, so if you were in the stream yesterday, I was working on Zilch, and now he's done! Yay! <laughs> he's done. Uh, I privated that, uh, VOD because I was like, well, I didn't even finish the artwork, so... It's fine. I didn't want to have it there. 
Um, but yeah, we're gonna be working on Yomi, uh, Martina. I'm not sure if I have time to do any other peacekeepers or any other detectives. Um, there, there is like my Kurumi sketch, but I don't even know if I want to draw her at the moment. Uh, just for time's sake. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> This live stream was a Phoebe Green. Yeah, so true. <laughs> so true. Was he even really there? Um, but uh, we, you know what? He can he can be on screen. <laughs> he can be on screen. You know. <laughs> we'll try not to say spoilers, spoiler stuff. But like, you know, this <laughs> this do be. This do be the OTP. <laughs> this do be the OTP. Uh, no worries. Go go ha go get an education at school, <laughs> Kanato Inori. Thanks for jumping into the stream. I had to I had to look for my my uh <laughs> I had to look for my rain code Yaoi. And like somehow it ended up being this pairing that we never see on screen together. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. For the sake of for the sake of no no spoilers in chat. That's all we'll say. Isn't that right? But um, you know, like he he clearly works for the peacekeepers. Anyway, you might be thinking, he is the is the is the BGM just on repeat? And yes, yes it is. Um, it is on repeat. It'll be on repeat until I get tired of listening to the song. <laughs> um, but I need I need some Yomi references. Too bad all of, all of Yomi's like pictures are with Martina. <laughs> this is such a low res image. <laughs> no, Yomi, are you so low res? Uh, okay. Give me that. Give me that thumbnail that I just made. <laughs> this one's clearer for some reason. I'm still not really sure what the design of the tattoo on top of his eyebrow is. Is it just two two squares? The thing with Yomi though, on the back side his hair gonna be like flipped, so it's like whoops. Oh well. Some characters I can change the details when they're flipped, some if you're asymmetrical, you just cannot. <laughs> Way too much of a pain. Anyway, I was trying to see like um, other people if other people had read um, Yako's uh, light novel story because I was trying to get a like a gauge about like how long it would take to read uh, for stream lengthwise, and it seems like it's not going to be relatively too long. Like maybe um, hour an hour tops. To read the light novel, so I'm like, oh, well, if it's only been me like an hour or something long, um, I might, I might see if I have time to schedule it tomorrow. I can't do the morning, but I could probably do the afternoon, probably around like this time or a bit earlier than a bit earlier than right now tomorrow. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really confident in my uh, 
reading things aloud ability. <laughs> I feel like I often mess up. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Wait, I don't I don't know if I have my alert box set up for um for OBS. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. Uh thank you. Thank you so much to Scoob. <laughs> Thank you so much to Scoob. What the heck? For like the 20 20 dollar uh, super chat. What the heck? Thank you so much. Um Hey, do you want me to like do a really quick doodle for you? That's like the, that's like uh, one of the biggest super chats I've ever received. So <laughs> Would you would you like a quick doodle or something? Like screw Yomi, right? <laughs> I'll do a little quick doodle for you, depending on what you want. But thank you, thank you so much, Scoop. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I don't have like, I don't have a um, alert box set up for my OBS uh, layout stuff yet. It's all on my Steam uh, Streamlabs. So I, there's no notification today. Oh my god, <laughs> what is going on, Scoop? Are you are you sure? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Scoop, for the like fifty, fifty dollar super chat. Well, hi, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, are you part of the Patreon or anything? If if you like, I I always try to recommend people. Like, if you would like to support me, um, I would recommend supporting me through Patreon because then you can join the Discord server. And everything but that's way too generous thank you so much scoop i don't need a doodle thanks though no <laughs> oh my goodness oh <laughs> uh, i don't know i don't know how to receive money without like giving people something in return you know what i mean <laughs> Well, I do plan to I do plan to make these uh, like merch for my shop uh, opening, hopefully within the next few days. Um, if you're interested in like purchasing them, Scoob, do you want to like email me? Um, do you want to email me and let me know if you're gonna buy something? Uh, I can like just give you a couple of things. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> I'm speechless. Wow, the one the one time there's no like alert to say thank you on screen. <laughs> how do I how do I put a alert box on OBS? I don't know. Uh Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Scoob with the $50 pineapple super chat. <laughs> what what is going on? <laughs> uh thank thank you so much. I'm like I'm speechless. Here, here you know, this 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 could be this could be the pretend alert. This is in honor of Scoob. <laughs> in honor of Scoob. Oh wait, wait, I can do something. I can do something. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let me get a screenshot of this. Save. <laughs> it's good. This is way, way too, way too generous. Let me, let me at least do this. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm at a prop. All right. Here we go, here we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, Scoob. <laughs> what is- What is happening right now? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, uh. <laughs> what do I, guys? What do, guys? What do I do? What do I do? Scoob, Scoob's going wild. Scoob, are you sure? If you need a refund, please, please let me know. <laughs> I've never received a, well, multiple super chats like this before. <laughs> Scoob, what? How? Scoob? Scoob? Scooby? <laughs> Scooby-doo? Scooby? Scooby? Scoob? Scoob? <laughs> what if I just end this stream right now? <laughs> What if I end the stream and Scoob cannot send any more money? I'm... Uh... <laughs> I am so... Wow. Scoob, are you part of the Patreon? <laughs> Scoob, you you can you can chat with me without needing to send a super chat. Just answer answer right question without a super chat. Are you, are you part of the Patreon, Scoob? I feel scared. <laughs> I feel scared asking questions now. <laughs> Scoob. This is insane. The, <laughs> the one time uh, there's no alert. There's no alert. We can't have Kamaida dancing on screen right now. I... I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Wait, Scoob, do you? You looked for live streams? Does this mean this is the first time you're watching my live stream too? Like, do you do you know my channel? <laughs> I'm so lost right now. Guys, I'm so scared though. Every time I feel like I ask a question. Like, Scoob, thank you so much for all of these donations. You... You really don't have to. I really, I really just appreciate you guys being here to keep my company. This is insane. <laughs> I feel like I'm not even doing anything like special enough. the MVP more like I'm so scared <laughs> I'm so scared every every second longer I I'm streaming I'm so scared <laughs> wait is it the persona music <laughs> the persona song that I'm listening to right now is called price oh no <laughs> no I'm, I'm kidding but like holy holy moly well, I hope that, like, uh, Scoob, you're making a good, like, you're, you're okay, like, financially to be able to, like, just super chat everything like this. Oh, give me one sec. My mom's here. I'm coming! I gotta go open my, the door for my mom. <laughs>
right, I'm back. I'm back. I feel like my heart's beating really fast right now. <laughs> Scoop, are you, like... Now I'm, like... From amusement to concern. Are you gonna be okay, Scoop? Scoop? Oh, wait, wait. I need to, like... I need to like zoom in on this <laughs> this pixelated picture of Scoop. <laughs> I've never drawn Scooby Doo before, but uh, <laughs> is he eating a cake or something? I can't really tell. There's like a Santa hat. Jordan Scooby Doo before. <laughs> Scoopception. <laughs> Wait, wait, am I gonna be okay? <laughs> I just mean, like, financially. This is a lot of money to be dropping, Scoop. Not gonna lie, I don't know how to send a message without sending money. You you, you could, you could, you could subscribe to the channel and then it'll, it'll let you, it'll let you chat. Do I have it set to that? <laughs> Stream settings. I think I do. <laughs> it seems my connection is uh, a bit spotty right now. Let me let me try if I can uh, disconnect and reconnect my internet. It will make it like excellent connection. I've never streamed with. Uh, OBS, but hopefully, hopefully the internet connection is a lot better now. It's a lot nicer, apparently. <sighs> Let's see. Toggle, toggle, edit. <laughs> I think I can edit it so that the chat is for anyone. I just, I just tend to turn my uh, chats on subscriber only so that it can um, avoid bots. <laughs> to an extent, it can help avoid bots. I switch it now was <laughs> Kise. That'll make it excellent, 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 excellent. <laughs> I'm 
Well, did it make it excellent? <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I will switch songs now. <laughs> Seriously, the amount of money that uh, Scoob dropped today. Um, <laughs> if Scoob, if Scoob, you would like to like trade that in for a commission, just just uh, just reach out and let me know, okay? I just don't know how to accept such a large amount of money without really doing anything for it. And by reach out, I mean you can contact me uh, 
not using super chats. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can finish the Yomi line art uh, and base colors by the end of stream. You know, like, big-time streamers when they get super chatted, like, a lot of money? I mean, deservingly. Their fans, you know, want to support their favorite creator. But, like, do, do people just, like, I mean, the top creators, right? Is money just, like, I don't know, how do they feel about, like, earning so much money? Because... <laughs> Like, I, I wouldn't say I'm like, oh, I'm not that well off, but, <laughs> like, I, I can live. <laughs> There's a filter of pink on top of it, but I'm gonna have these on my shop. I'm gonna have these on my shop when it reopens. I'm very, very excited. I think Junko turned out really, really nice. Um, and Miu has been restocked, so anyone who missed out on her last time uh, will be able to get her this time. Um, I already have all the stock with me, so it will be limited orders. Um, but if they do really well, I will definitely restock again next year. Uh, and I'm thinking about adding Shinigami <laughs> to the mouse pads next year. So there, there's like a little preview. <laughs>
If I do make a Shinigami one, I might ask um, Shinigami's VA, Anjali, um, if they would like <laughs> if they would like one. <laughs> I would be more than happy to send them a Shinigami booby pad. <laughs> I wish I knew how to send stuff to um, uh, Spike Chunsoft's office in Japan. Because that is what I assume people do in Japan when they send like gifts for character birthdays. I'm assuming they're sending it to Spike Chunsoft's um, office buildings. But I don't know for sure. <laughs> But like, are they okay? like are they willing to take fan art, merch, gifts, <laughs> or will they come for me and be like, um, you cannot sell this? <laughs> I think a lot of people have been like, when's the Kamida mouse pad coming? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have boob. And then, and then people are like, no, not his boob, his ass, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my, the ass mouse pad. Well, I don't know if I'll make one. <laughs> yeah, what ass? <laughs> Exactly, Pook. What what ass do he have? <laughs> Why a mouse pad, but it's just flat. Yeah, so true. I think we'll listen to one more loop of this song and then pick a different song. on his hand. What what is the design? Oh, I don't know what it is. I'll check it later. out of five stars. So true. They were too scared of...
requires me to spend more time on uh, cleaning it up and making it very detailed. I feel like in uh, the future, maybe I should make some more merch which is a little easier <laughs> to draw. <laughs> But I, I did it this way so that it would match the um, the anniversary Danganronpa um, set that I made. It's nice that way. Ugh, I wish they had full body artworks Like sprites or something It makes it very inconvenient to try and like draw them <laughs> Semi watcher. subtle change. I wonder, do you guys follow each other on other social medias or do you do you just come to the streams to see each other as well? Because if you if you guys don't talk when like I I'm not streaming, well, what's gonna happen when I can't stream so consistently? Well, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry that I can't um, open up like a, a more public Discord server. I just would not be able to manage that. And I know a lot of streamers have moderators and stuff, but I I also just like don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to bother people to like <laughs> do that for me. I'm like, there must be more important things for you to do in your day-to-day -day life than be moderating some Discord server.
Hmm, I need to find my my Yomi fan art. <laughs> I used a screenshot to help me draw his uh clothes a little bit there. There's like two belts he wears. Ouch, for small items. I see. It's good a thing that they have this like reference sheet, because otherwise how are you supposed to get close-ups of some of these characters? Idea what <laughs> what word that's supposed to be underneath, but like hopefully it's small enough and blurry enough that like people can just pretend it says something. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> okay. So many little details in the clothes. I think I will try to simplify it slightly so that it's a little not too overcrowded I guess mm. I might reduce it to two rather than three to this line. my own discord where I discuss and translate doujin, official danganronpa, or raincoat stuff, but I mostly keep it to myself, otherwise I keep busy with college stuff. But I like your streams for background. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. Like, I hope my drawing streams are just kind of more chill anyway. Um, unless we're going crazy about something. <laughs> But thank you very much. I think it's nice to put on a drawing stream and just like, I don't know if you guys also draw, but just like, I don't know, chill and draw at the same time. More people should draw together. <laughs> I kind of miss it from uh, when I would be in drawing, drawing clubs. <laughs> Back in university. <laughs> like, you don't have to draw the same thing. Just like, drawing together. Yeah, it feels nice. <laughs> but yeah, so you translate doujin?
He's almost got like the idle pose hand reaching out. Or maybe I'm just thinking about Hanukkah. <laughs> Hanukkah has so many like Love Live uh, official artworks where she's just got her hand out. Idol reaching out to you pose, you know? Maybe, maybe I should have joined Yomi like this. <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> oh. Anaka, my beloved. They should have given Yomi more, like, more obvious fangs. I think it would have been cute that way. <laughs> Yeah, become, become an idol, Yomi! Become an idol! That was the idol I was hoping for while I was playing Rain Code. Idol Yomi! Will you let him be your Oshi? <laughs> We deserve to punch at least one peacekeeper on his way to getting arrested. So true. I feel like he he kind of just like let them arrest him. <laughs> I think he should have fought back and escaped. And 
And then either, like, he gets away, or someone, like, tackles him, and they have to, like, restrain him to get him out. <laughs> Like, I think his exit should have been more ugly, <laughs> you know? And the peacekeepers are so incompetent. He could have done it. <laughs> nice boots. I wish I could see the details a bit better. The scan's not exactly the greatest. Mm. Brightness, maybe? I feel like, has anyone ever made a, a rain code character height chart? I feel like that would be useful. I kind of just like think about everyone being taller than Yuma and that's it. <laughs> but I don't know other characters like relative heights to each other. I wish there was a better view of his shoe. That's better. Do, do, do. No. The art book has a whole rep of his shoe. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, but it's like the scan, I suppose, is really dark, so it's hard to see. Um, at least like the, the artwork with him and Martina does give you a view of his shoe, so that's what I'm using right now. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, one more hand. One more hand! Uh, the digital version has slightly better colors. Is the digital version something you have to purchase through the Nintendo eShop? Because I, I think... I think that's where it is, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll take a look, I guess. If it's not that expensive, then maybe it's worth it. Because <laughs> I, I am interested in looking at the concept art. Okay, so he's got a whip. <laughs> he has his whip. Which I will draw him. Holding. That whip though, he only he only uses it like one time in the game, right? I think chapter four? I can't remember if he's ever used his whip at any other time. Be that old. 
<laughs> How do you think of it? Uh, what, do you, what the heck? Yomi's age is. I would say I'm surprised that, you know, the director of the Peacekeepers is such a young looking man. But at the same time, they do have like Makoto, <laughs> who's like, looks way younger. The whip can extend and retract. Oh, I see. Well, it's extended right now. How does this whip work? To have like its tail locked up here? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not gonna question it. I really thought that Yomi was gonna like whip Martina at least once. You know? I thought it might be something he would do at least once. He can whip me my one! Sheesh! That's pretty good, I think. Let me zoom out and take a look. Mm. Okay, I might change something. <laughs> I might change the end of the cape. It does look a little bit wonky. That's 
probably good. I mean, it's a, it's a little wonky. Eh. <laughs> Pretty good. I think like one side he's gonna have his like creepy smile and then the other side he's gonna have the like very serious uh very serious face with like a blank expression. But I wanna, I wanna give him fang, fangy. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute, right? <laughs> Yummy's wearing gloves. Yeah, I think he is. Oh, he's only wearing like one glove, or is he wearing gloves on both hands? I can't, can't tell. I think they might be both hands. Because everyone in this game has like gray, pale skin. <laughs> so gloves are sometimes like, are, are they wearing them? <laughs> But thank you, thank you for the reminder. I might make this hand slightly larger. There we go. There. Yeah, yeah there, there's like a tiny, tiny difference. <laughs> okay. It's getting a little bit dark in my room. I'm going to go turn on a light after I finish this line. Okay. Gotta be two, he can't be that insane. Okay, uh, let's work on Yomi's second expression.
How many eyelashes did I give him? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. his mouth to be open. I don't know. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's fine. Cute, right? <laughs> Yomi Heaven Smile is his idol name. <laughs> Yomi Hex Smile. <laughs> Yomi Happy Smile. He just wants to be happy. Time to get out of here. I think since I don't have time to start another line art right now, I think let's just do his base colors. And we can leave Martina for another time. Oops. He's wearing gloves.
Adding blush, even though you probably wouldn't blush too much. <laughs> Bright red hair. I hope there will be like Raincoat cosplayers. I feel like the costumes in uh, Raincoat um, would look pretty cool in real life. Like some of them. When I mean, I like, I hope there are raincoat cosplayers. I hope there are raincoat clothes, uh, but code cosplayers uh, in Australia is what I meant. I want to see them in real life. <laughs> I want to see real raincoats. doesn't get enough sleep. So he's got like one square, I guess, in his eye. It's just a square, just a cube.
Oh, wait, can I put this in the air layer? This man loves... loves his squares. When he says be there or be square, he means it. <laughs> Where's the one picture I'm looking for? Oh, here. <laughs> Alright, he's got... He, he doesn't have blue hair, but he does have a blue tie. But he's not hiding in your Wi-Fi. <laughs> so unfortunately, that means he's not... Me too. <laughs>
it's only on one arm, right? The like white band. Yeah, it's only on one arm. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, not too bad. This is the mix that plays at the very end, right? Of the game. It was a cool mix. <laughs> okay, I gotta color in his gloves. Make them gray first, just so I can see what I'm coloring. I'm gonna color the lines a little bit now. Whoopsies! Oh, I 
I think that can be darker. Battle Royale. Okay. <laughs> There's not that many people here, so it'll it'll be over very quickly. <laughs> Well, everyone's got a one in five chance. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm gone. <laughs> There we go. You know, when when Scoob was here and said like they were just looking for live streams to join? Is there a function like that on YouTube? You can just like see who's streaming right now? Because honestly, I've never really um, looked into the specifics of live streaming on YouTube. Is there actually a page where you can see who's streaming at the moment? I feel like YouTube should just like make streaming better on YouTube to be able to compete more effectively with Twitch. Because like Twitch can keep doing whatever it, whatever it wants because like the other platforms... I, In terms of other platforms I feel like YouTube is still like Twitch's biggest competitor, but it's not really like made for live streaming interactivity, like Twitches.
He was summoned because he was actually a money spirit? <laughs> well, actually, I don't know if uh, Scoob was a he or she or they or... <laughs> so, I'll just, I'll just keep saying they. <laughs> and that was a very unexpected thing to happen. <laughs> Okay, let's start adding some shading in. Oh, it's already 6 p.m. Which means I'm probably gonna have to wrap up this stream sometime soon. A phone call. Give me one sec. Alrighty. This time it wasn't my mom. This time it was my sister. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm so, like so popular. <laughs> Everyone's calling me.
Guys, give me one sec. I need to, like, tell my mom something. Okay, I'm back. I'm back now. <laughs> These streams are never uninterrupted. So we have Zilch X Yumi shippers here. <laughs> yeah. They are uh, 
They are the ship. <laughs> I don't know, like I came out of uh, Raincoat not really giving Yuma any ships. I just didn't feel like, um... I just didn't feel like any ships really worked incredibly with him. I know there's like with Kurumi, but I'm like, I don't know. I have like... I don't have that many feelings towards Kurumi, <laughs> honestly. I think she was great for chapter 2. But afterwards, like, she, it's, she's not a bad character, but I feel like she just kind of was there. <laughs> and it's the, like, oh, you two are a couple, aren't you? And they're like, no, 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 we're definitely not a couple. But are we? <laughs> Um, I feel like when it comes to um, shipping characters, it's it, for me at least. Maybe it's more like I want to see them actually like seem like a good pairing, rather than being told that they're supposed to be a pairing. Maybe something like that. I guess it depends on the, the ship or situation. <laughs> but I don't know. I wasn't really feeling... I wasn't really feeling the Kurumi... Yuma ship. <laughs> and I see um, Yuma with Shinigami as more of a partnership. And platonic. Than romantic. Like, they're a good team together. But not necessarily for... romance. Okay, okay. I can do it. Um, do, 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 do. How's chapter 5 though? Um, what do you mean? Like, did I like chapter 5? Is that what you mean? I think chapter 5 set up um, a lot of interesting scenarios. Um, I feel like <laughs> maybe all the info dumping was a little bit much. <laughs> but you kinda, you kinda need it, I suppose, to like wrap everything up, right? The battle is over. <laughs> it has been won.
I wonder if they intended Rain Code to only be a like not a series, but like just a one off. Because like when you compare it to like Dangarampa's endings, they they always have like some kind of open endedness to them. But like Rain Code kind of just like wrapped everything up. Maybe a little too conveniently. So that it's like, oh, Kanai Ward is just done. Like there there's no need to ever revisit Kanai Ward um as a story thing anymore because like it's all it's all a happy ending now. It's all happy rainbows. <laughs> Which I think, you know, happened a little too easily. <laughs> a little too easy. But it does feel like if Rain Code was ever to get a sequel, um, well, first of all, it wouldn't be called Rain Code anymore. <laughs> uh, but it might still be called like Master Detective Archive. Maybe it'll be called Sun Code. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sun Code. It'll be Sun Code. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I do think, like, I, I think I saw uh, statements that, like, Kodak was like, if Rain Code were to get a sequel, it probably would not involve um, Yuma and Shinigami as the protagonists. And I'm like, you know, that might be kind of cool if it's, like, the same series of stuff, but, like, different scenarios and different um, characters. But then it's like, okay, would you completely change it to because like you know the mystery labyrinth is all of a shinigami kind of like it only exists because shinigami is there so if shinigami is not a main character anymore like does that mean you can't have mystery labyrinths anymore but it's like oh no it's just like oh maybe another death god another death god character appears who's not shinigami you know like how would they continue it from there unless it's like oh shinigami with another with another main character but it's like you kind of as a player you would already know what shinigami is all about so like there wouldn't be as satisfying of a i don't know arc or anything for her or mystery because it will be like oh well we know how her contract works and then it's like I guess you have the expectation that maybe at the end she'll get a <laughs> she'll get abandoned again. <laughs> I just don't think like um, Kurumi is a strong enough character to be a main character. If it were to be like. Oh, Shinigami's Adventures with Kurumi. Also, like, if it were to be like that, would Shinigami always just call her Flatty then? I'm like, uh, I don't think I want to have that. <laughs> there are implied other death gods. Yeah, that's why I'm like, so would it just be like, other detectives with other death gods but then it's like well then <laughs> is it all gonna be like similar like how they work all gonna be similar i i haven't played like um what's it called uh ai summium uh nirvana initiative because i haven't finished uh the first one anyway but like um you know at least from what i know they do have like another protagonist with the uh, original one of the protagonists, right? And then as well as that, they also have a new duo. So like you can keep some things fresh. But like <laughs> it just feels like is Yuma's story over? I don't know. For the moment, I think the, you could do a lot with the premise of like detectives having powers to solve crimes. But I'm not sure that they should 
do the death god thing again. Which is tough, right? Because, like, if they don't have the death god thing, then does that mean they can't do a mystery labyrinth thing, which is, like, half of the game? So I feel like they've put themselves into a into a state where it's like difficult to just do a sequel that's like a direct sequel. But maybe like maybe Kadaka doesn't want to do another direct sequel. You know? Maybe he's like tired of the Dagarampa franchise and he's like, actually let's just do one offs. That might be fun for a while. So who knows? Who knows what he wants? No idea what I'm talking about when you're listening. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Long story short, I feel like Danganronpa always made its endings kind of like open-ended so that like a sequel did seem possible. But at least for the story of Raincoat, it does feel like Yuma's story is complete. Or at least Kanai Ward's story is complete. There's no need to revisit Kanai Ward ever again. Because I suppose the World or uh, Detective Organization was like barely explored. It's just like, this is the thing. And we get to know the basics of how it works, but not really anything else in depth. direct sequel where you plays Shinigami after losing 99% of her powers. <laughs> like she becomes human? What if a monkeyless gets discovered at one and suddenly strange happens? Oh, that's the thing. Like, I feel like Raincoat ended in such a way where it just seemed like, oh, is the world just like completely okay with this? Which, to me, felt pretty unrealistic. <laughs> I was like, there's no way the world would be that, like, accepting about it and not try to get rid of these... people. But also... Okay, we're, we're gonna, like, talk about raincoat spoilers. Not that, like, you probably didn't understand that we were talking about raincoat spoilers, but... <laughs> So, like, the unified government, right, they made, they, they poured a ton of money, they poured a ton of money into researching to create homunculi because they wanted them for military purposes. Now that they've made one successful homunculi, they're just, like, content. <laughs> 
they don't want it for war, like, are they not gonna try to get it back? That's what always, like, stumped me. I was like, what? What do you mean they're not trying to, like, recapture... ...their runaway? And, like, what war were they preparing for? <laughs> like, it seemed like that kind of in setup was, like, written as just an excuse for the existence of the homunculi in the first place, but it wasn't really, like, developed in a way where it actually worked into the world building at a deeper level than just um, why can't I ward is the way it is. <laughs> Which is why I guess I'm surprised that the epilogue was so, like, nicely wrapped up. Because, <laughs> like, Im imagine an alternate scenario where Raincoat ended right after Yuma exited. So, like, he leaves the Mystery Labyrinth and that's the end of the game. Right? But I feel like people would be unsatisfied with that too. Anyway, writing a game is hard. <laughs> I think part of it is like just the fact that the scale is like affecting a whole city and potentially like even bigger than a city that it feels like that's why it feels a little too neatly wrapped up or like some things aren't addressed and like too convenient. Because, like, for example, with Danganronpa, it's always been, like, a small group of people at the heart of it, right? Like, yes, you got the global scale disasters, but the narrative is always focused on, like, the central characters. So when, like... Danganronpa and stuff wrap up even though the world's still in peril it's like it feels like the conclusion of the story and then you're left to your own imagination about like how they deal with the outside world and whatever <laughs> but in Rain Code they didn't do that they were like actually everything's okay now <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to seem too harsh. I don't want to seem too harsh on a uh, raincoat. About Seth, there was info in the waiting screen that he speaks so silently because his family creed was silence is gold, so he probably was from a some kind of abusive family. Dang! You know, like, see, like, all those, like, loading screens, I, clearly I didn't get to see all of them. And I feel like that's a shame. What they should have done is implemented, like, a little, like, I, I don't know if it's in the glossary, because I never checked the glossary. But, like, they should have had a section in the game where you could, like, read 
uh, the trivia as like a bonus or something. Like maybe after you completed the game, it can unlock like bonus trivia. And then it's just all the loading screens and you can go through and see if you missed any. I did not play DR1 when it came out, but I feel like Raincode is about equivalent to how little info they give you about the outside world upon the game's conclusion. Um, I feel like I would disagree to an extent. Because like, yeah, you're right. About the outside world, outside of like Kanai world, I suppose we don't really know what the unified government really is or like how the rest of the world is seeing the situation in Kanai Ward, but like, <laughs> when you compare the scale of like a whole city of citizens who are like bystanders somewhat, and then also like a school of 16 kids. <laughs> like, it's easier to resolve the group of 16 than it is to just like accept that a whole city of people are so easily like okay was like maybe a missed opportunity with the um, side quests. I know the side quests are optional so people could just skip them if they didn't want to play side quests. But I feel like if you're gonna make something like if you're gonna make people go do side quests and there are only like so many anyway in the game like I know it would have been a lot more effort, but I feel like some more of them could have been more, like, related to how people felt living in Kanai Ward, rather than just, like, personal quests and stuff like that. Like, the one about the guy who was, like, writing a report and then, like, got attacked by the peacekeepers and then, like, tried to give you the USB to give to another reporter. Like that one felt kind of like interesting because you're like, oh, this is like actually relevant to what people are experiencing while they live here in Kanai Ward. Whereas like many of the other side quests are just kind of like, oh, uh, right, we need a side quest. Uh, go do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think, like, if you were going to have side quests anyway, um, a little, a little more, or, like, maybe a couple more that were more like that one, story significant, in a way, or world building significant, would have been, like, a nice touch. And I feel like maybe people would actually seek the side quests out.
citizens of Kanai Ward didn't really have a choice but to accept that they are immortals. <laughs> I mean, at the epilogue they're like, oh, we'll have to like deal with the fact that we are mortal and we'll have time to think about it. And it's like, the citizens of Kanai Ward are still not used to the fact that they are, like, this is what they are now. And yet, somehow, like, people are okay? Like, other people are okay? With traveling to Kanai Ward? And, and the, the people from Kanai Ward are now okay to just, like, leave Kanai Ward? It just seems like, you know... <laughs> It's too happy. <laughs> too happy of an ending. I think more people in Kanai Ward need therapy. <laughs> Brain code really severed from wanting to appeal to as many people as possible and assuming that the average person is too dumb to even remember names, much less actual story or character building. I I I can see what you mean by that. I do feel like um the complexity of like getting to the answer or correct culprits in Rain Code was definitely less difficult, or it felt less difficult than Danganronpa because the mini games weren't difficult. But that's not to say that Rain Code didn't have good cases. It's just that, like... Hmm... How do I say? Even though you were arguing with, like, phantoms and stuff, and, like, the mystery lab, uh, labyrinth would pose questions and things like that, and that's all stuff that you do, in Danganronpa as well. It just doesn't feel like a conversation in a way. And because you are in the mystery labyrinth and not actually talking to the real culprits, like, you don't get to know them as well. I guess. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. Again, like, I think what they did with Rain Code is very impressive. But it could have also been improved. <laughs> and like, I, I guess I'm being critical of it, right? But that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it for what it was. And I think it's okay. It's okay to be critical of things and still like them.
Culprits and characters mostly being contained in a single chapter really hurt the ability to get attached to them too. Definitely. Um, and I feel like it's okay in chapter zero because you don't have that in your mind. Like you aren't expecting them to like leave you. So like, I think it's fine in chapter zero. But... Like, what they could have done that might have been cool is, like, maybe a character from a later chapter could have been a sub, like, a side quest character. You know what I mean? So, like, you see them in the world before they're relevant. And then you're like, oh, hey, you're the person that I helped. Or like, if you helped a character and then they ended up as a victim in a later chapter, you'd be like, Oh my god, wait, I helped that person! <laughs> and now they're dead! Oh no! So like, the player feels like they have to go avenge that one side quest character. <laughs> Again, a lot of the side quests were like, I guess they're fine, but like, it would have been nice if a couple more of them had some more depth to them. Like the one that stands out to me is like the woman who's like, my dad wants me to get married to a guy, but like, I don't want to. And he won't listen to me. Can you send my dad this letter? And then it's like, the dad gets the letter and then immediately is like, I must listen to my daughter. <laughs> I'm like, why couldn't she just tell you this in person then? That was a dumb side quest. <laughs> like, those ones just felt like a waste of time. There's so much fighting going on. So much fighting! Why are you guys fighting in the chat? <laughs> Okay, Yomi is like almost done, I think. Mm-hmm. 
Is that okay? <laughs> One sec, so I can just uh, finish off. Say, pineapple? Are you a pineapple? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What's that on your face? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, the super chat. Yeah. Pineapple. I thought you were talking about me, the person. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Is it spoiler? No. This is not a spoiler. Just something that happened today on stream. <laughs> well, my sister's home. Okay. All I have to do is add the white shine and then the sparkles, but... Since it's dinner time, I'll do that off stream. So, uh, thank you everybody for coming to the stream today. We had quite an eventful uh, occasion today. <laughs> you are pineapple? No, I'm not pineapple! <laughs> Alright, well thank you everyone for joining. Uh, hopefully, I'll hopefully you have... Um, Martina to do next. So, thank you everyone for coming to the stream, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, once again, big shout out to the mysterious Scoob for all the super chats today. What an unexpected thing to happen. Um, but thank you everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, <laughs> good rain to you. Yeah. Alright, see you! Bye-bye!